I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video uh, about the first test flight from my GoPro Karma. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh, videos going up and I finally got a chance to go out and do my own. Uh, so everything I'm going to show you in the background is uh, shot at 2.7K, 60 frames per second in linear mode. I haven't done any editing or color correction on the video, just uh, like chopped it up and cropped it to uh, the segments that uh, I'm going to show along with this. So um, it went great. Um, I was a little bit surprised after watching uh, some of the YouTube videos about crashes and uh, horizon problems and uh, drift and all this sort of thing, uh, but uh, I didn't see any of it. Uh, when I took off, it was rock solid. Uh, it was very easy to control. Um, everything was super simple. The controller was perfect. Um, if you've ever used a DJI, you know, it shows you like 600 pieces of, of information when you really just need to have like, what am I looking at? How fast am I going? How high am I? And um, that's what the GoPro Karma does for you. It focuses you right on what you need to know and it's, uh, it's quite easy to use. At one point I handed it to my son. Um, you'll see uh, in the video. Uh, but um, he immediately wanted to make it do some kind of a trick, so I had to take the controller back from him because I didn't want him to crash it into the ground. Um, anyway, the uh, I've seen the videos uh, like from uh, I think it's I Justine, um, where the drone takes off and immediately flies into a wall, and uh, I I think it's totally user error. Like she may not have had GPS, and she took off right next to the side of a building. Uh, it's just seems like a really silly idea. Uh, the other one that I saw that was a little bit questionable was uh, iPhone do. Uh, he's really trashing on the drone, but um, it was mine worked just fine. As soon as I calibrated it and launched it, it worked beautifully. No problems whatsoever. Uh, I've also heard several complaints about the battery life. Uh, this one gave me right around 20 minutes. Um, the uh, the drone uh, when I turned it on I did the calibration uh, which took about maybe 30 45 seconds and then took off and it lasted a good 15 minutes of flight time and when I landed it said that it had another three or four minutes so that's right in there at 20 minutes uh, it's totally serviceable at 20 minutes um, I would like to see the batteries come out so that I could get multiple shots done in the same go but uh, uh, yeah, the, the single battery use was ju just fine. Um, let me tell you about the conditions real quick about the video. In case you're wondering, I took it in a park in California, um, out in Melpitas, which is near uh, Silicon Valley. Um, it was a little bit overcast and a little bit dark. That's why you probably see some dark skies instead of the nice blue skies. And the ground was a little bit dark. I uh, didn't do anything special with any of the focus or uh, sharpness or any other controls, so uh, what you see is what you get with just straight out of the box shooting. Um, the wind was mm, like maybe just three or four miles per hour on, on ground level, but as you can see in the background, there are people doing hang gliding, so there's a lot of updraft, and um, we are at the base of some hills, so it does catch a little bit of current. Over the top, I would guess the uh, winds were maybe like 10, 15 miles an hour at the, at the highest. So it wasn't a very windy day. Uh, that being said, it is totally rock solid the entire flight. Uh, there was no wobble, no shake. Um, the motors, um, I'm probably going to cut out the audio in the video that I showed to you, but uh, uh, the audio um, didn't sound like the engines were like fighting the wind at all. Um, I did have it in beginner mode, uh, which limits the height to 400 feet and limits the velocity and speed of turning uh, and everything was fine. Uh, it responded just perfectly fine. Uh, I did try out a couple of the video features like cable cam and orbit um, and it was alright. Um, uh, I really don't know what I'm doing in terms of like setting up a shot. I'm sure I'll learn over time but uh, they worked exactly as advertised. Set point A, set point B and it does its thing. Uh, you can find lots of videos talking about that, but uh, mainly I just wanted to post a video to dispel uh, any of the rumors that this thing is just terrible, it's hard to control, it's totally easy. Uh, it's my first flight, uh, really with any drone, I've flown a couple DJI's, um, you know, just, you know, for fun, uh, but um, I had absolutely no trouble with this, and I felt a lot more confident using this system than with DJI, because 
like I said before, the controls were very clear and concise and just worked, just gave you exactly what you needed. So um, I like it. I'm happy. I got a complete video system uh, for $10.99. I have uh, a Hero 5. I can take it underwater. I have uh, the GoPro Karma Grip. I can take that anywhere. And I've got the drone where I can take video shots occasionally. The whole package uh, works perfectly. I highly recommend it. Good luck. Fly safe.